So I've been sorting bottle caps and uh, out of these big, uh, I guess they're pickle jars, these plastic pickle jars. I got three of them full of bottle caps, mostly cork lined, a few plastic lined, and uh, there seems to be a few varieties in there, thankfully. Uh, mainly though, there is Calgary Brewing and uh, Prince Albert uh, Six Beverages. So yeah, um, that's a brewery out of uh, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. So I've been sorting them into piles of like caps and reject caps as well. Uh, we've got Coke, uh, let's see, Old Style Pilsner, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Two-Way, Fanta, Suncrest, Suncrest Grape and Pineapple, Lemon Lime from Weyburn, Saskatchewan, Lang's Beverages, Bo, Bohemian, I assume, uh, Labatt's uh, Pilsner, Lang's Orange, uh, and Schweppes Dry Ginger Ale, as well as Jamaica Dry, Black Label, and uh, there's some more Calgary and Six in there as well. So I've got two more of these big jugs to go sorting, so we'll see what we end up with. Uh, I'll show you the results from the second jug. I think we're probably going to be mainly the same, but uh, we'll see if there's any other varieties. So yeah. All right, stay tuned. So halfway through sorting the second big pickle jar of bottle caps. And yeah, ending up with quite a few Calgary ones and uh, Got a few new ones here. There's a Schweppes tonic water and uh, some Suncrest ones as well. A few more Fantas, a couple Pepsis. So there's a few other little surprises in there. I think that'll probably be the only other surprises we get. But uh, yeah, we've still got another one of these to go through. So one and a half more to go. So halfway done. And yeah, we'll see where we end up after uh, getting the next one done. So got another pickle jar done. And uh, there was a couple new ones came up. Some Suncrest Lemon Lime. So yeah, we got a couple more different ones anyway. So yeah, two pickle jars worth and only two lemon limes. So I guess they're maybe a little more scarce in this batch. So anyway. Starting to fill up the boxes pretty good. And the boxes are what's going out into inventory at a buck and two bucks a piece. Um, that is per cap. So yeah, I've got a lot of money sitting there really. So it was well worth buying. I've got uh, the Calgary ones going in another pickle jar. So probably get another, oh, a third of the jar full from uh, the last jar to go. And we'll probably pretty much fill up the six brewery ones as well. Anyway, okay, stay tuned. So I'll do a quick recap, no pun intended, and yeah, we've got a good full box of uh, assorted caps, got another one, and I'll start another one with just some of the uh, lesser numbers, and then we've got some that I'll sell probably in little lots or as singles. Uh, there turned out to be one root beer from Lang's Beverages, and a generic club soda probably also from land beverages i suspect but it's just a generic cap and uh yeah we've got four different suncrest there fanta two-way and yeah and uh, a few rejects that were just a little too rough um yeah so worked out pretty good um 
and the total cost on the uh, caps was about sixty-eight dollars. Um, the I ended up with three of these big pickle jars of them, and uh, also got some Coca-Cola uh, memorabilia as well. So I'll be able to sell that and make some money on it as well. So it did quite well, and at a buck a cap, you can see there's got to be a thousand caps there at least. So at a buck a cap or more should do all right. Yeah, might take a while though. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, screw wrapping, etc. Take care folks.